premium connectivity, super fast 5G, a huge array of features, video streaming, gaming, Android Auto. This is driving pleasure at its best. BMW has done it again. The company keeps raising the bar in the automobile industry. I don't know about you, but a car seat that can give me warmth and massage me is definitely a car I will go for. Interestingly, the seat is the least of all the great features the BMW i5 comes with. With a beautiful body and an even more impressive horsepower, you'll be awed by this review. Really? Really really. Let's delve right in. Interior and Cargo Anyone who has driven a BMW car, even for a few minutes, will agree that the interior of the automobile is always comfortable and luxurious. Yes it really is. In fact, nothing looks or feels cheap inside a BMW. The BMW 3 Series, for instance, has a well-designed interior which makes room for the preference of each individual user. The company offers extensive adjustments for your seats so that you feel comfortable no matter your size. Awesome, right? Although seat adjustments are present in every car, they're not as extensive as in BMW cars. It is difficult to pinpoint cons in the interior of BMW cars. Very true. Trust me, they're top notch. The manufacturers, however, are constantly working around the clock to improve every new model they manufacture and to ensure that buyers have value for their money. You shouldn't expect anything below spectacular in the new BMW i5. The car will have a very spacious cargo to store your items in. The good news is, unlike some other vehicles, the battery of the i5 doesn't take cabin space, and that's why you have all that extra space for yourself. Wow, pretty cool, huh? The BMW i5 will also outdoor a whole new faux leather upholstery called Veganza. The Veganza will be stronger and more durable than traditional leather and, of course, slightly more expensive. A leather option is still available for buyers who prefer the good traditional leather interior. Stay with me, I'm just scratching the surface here. Some models of the i5 will come with heated and ventilated front seats with massaging seats available. I can just imagine how enjoyable and therapeutic it will be for my car seat to give me a rewarding massage after a hectic day at work or after driving for a long distance. This is a very thoughtful feature, but unfortunately, it may not be available in all the models of the car. It seems that only the M60 xDrive model will have this feature. It is also possible that the i5 will come with some glass interior controls to make the car more opulent and classy. There's a lot more to the BMW i5 than its interior. Let's discuss the EV motor and performance now. EV motor and performance. The BMW EV vehicles have been in existence for a few years, but they're quickly making waves in the automobile space. The BMW i3, which was released in 2021, has a one-speed direct drive transmission feature which enables the car to drive very smoothly even in rough terrains. With this feature, it is also easy for drivers to drive in a linear fashion. In addition, BMW's previous EVs have all been impressive with their speed and authority on the road. They accelerate almost immediately after starting, and the cars feel very light in your hands. Unfortunately, the previous BMW EV vehicles may not be appropriate for inexperienced drivers because the car feels zippy and a little too light in your hands, and it can veer off the road. In turn, inexperienced drivers can easily lose control of it. The BMW i5 however will come with some adjustments that will add some firmness to the EV whilst maintaining its lightness on the road. This is driving pleasure at its best. The i5 will come with a 335 horsepower for the eDrive 40 model. This will drive the rear wheels with a single electric motor. Moreover, the M60X drive version adds an electric motor on the front axle of the car to accumulate a combined horsepower of 590. With such a high horsepower, the BMW can accelerate to 60 miles per hour in just 3.7 seconds. Very good! Very, very good! Also, due to BMW's aim to give the car an athletic feel on the road, the i5 also comes with additional features such as a sporty suspension tune, wider tires, and a rear-wheel steering. 
This is exactly the car we want. Now speaking of the car's feel on the road, the BMW i5 has some additional infotainment and connectivity features. Let's talk about that. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more relevant automobile news. Also, turn on the notification button so that you don't miss out on any of the videos uploaded. What are you gonna do? I've already subscribed. Infotainment and connectivity. The BMW i3 did not focus a lot on infotainment. It would seem that manufacturers were more concerned about the EV and its engine performance. This is evident by the small screen size on the dashboard of the i3. Electric and hybrid cars usually have large screens. Oh, that's a bummer. Also, the BMW only has a default Apple CarPlay feature. It is surprising that Android Auto is not compatible with the car. That's bad. As if these cons are not enough, the BMW i3 also has only one USB port. BMW. What were you thinking? Thankfully, the i5 offers better infotainment features than its predecessors. The i5's dashboard is dominated by a large, curved panel that incorporates a 12.3-inch digital gauge display as well as a 14.9-inch infotainment touchscreen. BMW's latest iDrive 8.5 interface is easy to use and can be updated via over-the-air updates should the need arise for that. Evidently, these features are an upgrade on previous models. All BMW i5 models will come with Apple CarPlay, in-dash navigation, a wireless smartphone charging pad, an onboard Wi-Fi hotspot, card and stereo system and finally, Android Auto for all Android users and enthusiasts. That's nice, isn't that nice? You can receive weather reports and news right in the comfort of your car. For those who enjoy music, listening to podcasts or an audiobook, the infotainment system of the BMW i5 has got you covered. Good. What? That's good. Now can you guess the price of the BMW i5? Tell us, tell us. Let's talk price. Pricing. BMW cars have always been expensive. The company prides itself in being one of the best in the market, and the value of their cars is directly tied to its price. The cars are not just expensive, they also deliver on their mandate to provide luxury and efficiency. The base model for the BMW i3 was $45,445, with the extender model coming in $52,495. Some buyers have complained that the vehicles, although durable and sleek, are overpriced. The BMW i5 will come in an eDrive 40 model which costs $67,795 and M60X drive model at $85,095. Now I know these figures are considerably higher than previous models, but let's take the added features and inflation into consideration. I would like to hear your opinions on the price of the BMW i5. Let me know what you think in the comments section. From one top automobile manufacturer to the other, do you know that the new Toyota Tacoma has a hidden trick in its taillights? Check out our next video for 7 awestrucking features of the Toyota Tacoma. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe below.